Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to jump right into it and pull a Moonology Manifestation Oracle card. Oh, I love this one. I think you've gotten it before. Isn't that rich? Isn't that a beautiful card? It's just, it's got so much depth in the color. So you have new moon in Cancer, relax. So if you have a little break coming up or you're going on a vacay, kick your feet back. Don't feel guilty about it. If you're allowed to unplug, I know some places have people on call while they're on work, These, especially these unlimited PTO and then you're still like working. I don't know. I was on vacation somewhere. I forget where I was now. And um, the person was doing a video in the pool. It was like something work related and they were like in a bathing suit in the swimming pool, but okay. All right, here we go. Let's ask now, what else does Pisces need to know, please? What advice do you have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right, so if you don't mind hitting the like button, I sure do love it. It helps so people will see the reading, but then it will also tell you when I do the Wednesday bonus readings, YouTube will make sure you're aware of it. You've got the Three of Cups, the Six of Cups. I feel like you had this uh, recently, the Three of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Sun. I haven't seen the Sun in a while. The Empress, oh boy. And the High Priestess. Now, the High Priestess, oh, this keeps happening. I'm going to take it because I like it when the world is here, but it's when it is on the bottom of the deck, I feel like I must. It's like, I don't know, not answering your grandmother's call when she phones. It's mean. Um, okay, so you've got the two and three here. So these two are, they're right next to each other, and we have 78 cards here. So what this means when you have the high priestess and then the empress, if you've kind of been going it solo, especially with love, get ready. Because you're going to have, if, if you're single right now, you're going to have a lot of interest, but you got one coming in that is undeniably the one, Okay. So with the, the high priestess, she works in solitude. She analyzes, she assesses, she is psychic. She is the keeper of secrets. The empress, when you get the empress, it's time to get busy with all that information. So you may find as you get into the new year with work and stuff, you're going to be quite busy and active. But I want to tell you too, in terms of love, boy, I could pick up half of this reading here. You have the, the path to the heart here. We've got Leo Taurus. We've got water, fire as well, and a little bit of earth. So I'll tell you what, you are going to be feeling the love around you, Pisces. And I feel like it carries you all the way from the holidays, all the way through like March. It just feels great. And I'm not telling you like you're going to hit a brick wall in April or something, but it feels like this is just really special. If you are planning to move to or you're planning on traveling with that uh, world energy, it's going to be fantastic. I feel like too, if you are traveling, you may meet people that you will stay in touch with for life. You'll get connected on social media and it'll just be one of those things where I could see you even meeting up with them later. Like one of, I've never done that. I've never met anybody that I've stayed in touch, but I know people who do it. And if that's you, good for you. I will tell you this though, people will be feeling your energy. When you come in the room, they're going to know you're there. You also too will have people who want to connect with you. And even though they may not be even in the same country, they may not be near or, or close by or anyone you've seen in a long time. They feel your energy and it's like it almost gnaws at them. They want to know what you're up to. So with the energy of the world, whatever you're asking is a yes. You've got it multiple times, the sun, the world, the empress. You have many cards that are saying yes. This is going to be, as you get into 2024, one of your best years yet. You have new experiences awaiting. You have success. This is one of those cards where you'll feel like you are at the height of things, where you want to freeze this moment in time and where you say, how can it get any better than this? If you're publishing a book, it's going to take off. And you might find too that you have people from the past contacting you. If they find that out, they're going to be very intrigued by it and wanting to catch up with you. So if it's been a labor of love with that 10 of wands, you're going to say it's worth it. You've got engagement here, by the way. 
Um, I mentioned you do have love here. And it's somebody, too, who celebrates you. They brag about you. They revere in you. They revel in you. How about that? Revel sounds a bit more appropriate. And so with this three of cups energy, it's all about appreciation. So you may find in the next week that weeks that you get emails, you get notes, you have people saying, thanks a lot for what you did. You really helped me out. People are talking about you and saying many positive things. You might find too, just you have these little connections, you know, where maybe you need a pen and somebody hands one to you because they notice it and they don't just let you sit and suffer and dig through your things. They go, oh, here you go. So with this Three of Cups energy, it'll be a time if you have celebrations to go to where everybody gets along famously. And if you have something with work, some kind of a party with work, it's going to be great. It's really going to be easy where people contain themselves. They control their behavior. Have you ever been to a work Christmas party where somebody has too much to drink? I one time had a woman sitting next to me years ago and she stuck her elbow right in my damn cake. It was like, God dang it, you know, so annoying to be next to the person who's drunk and can't control themselves. But anyway, with the Six of Cups, these people will not stick their elbows in your cake, okay? These are people who are helpful people. So in terms of, you'll just find that overall people want to help you out. If you're having a package delivered that needs to be signed, I feel like somebody steps up and offers to do that for you. Or if you have to have a repair or something and you can't be there, it's like, oh, I'll give you a ride. Or yeah, I'll let them into your house. Or, you know, that sort of thing where it's like neighborly. It's, it's a wonderful energy of being cared for and it's reciprocal. So in a relationship, you may have somebody who comes back from the past. They have never stopped thinking of you. They have been, they just cannot get you off of their mind. So I definitely feel like with the Six of Cups, it's harmonious. It's somebody you want to see again. It's somebody that brings this feeling of nostalgia. Now, if you meet a new person, I do feel like you're going to have a lot in common with them. And it's Six of Cups kind of energy where it just feels easy. It feels right. It feels natural. Where you say, you know what, I just, I could talk to you all night long. I could talk to you on and on and on. And so with the three of wands, the wait is going to be over. You've got three threes. Threes are our mystical numbers. I may have told you this before, but Nikola Tesla, he was quite superstitious about the number three. He would not stay in a hotel room unless it was divisible by three because he believed the number three held special power and magic. And so it's, you know, the Holy Trinity. You can think of all kinds of historical number sets that are in threes. So if you've been waiting, the wait is over. This is where your ships come in. If you're trying to sell something like a house, or even if it is a book or a piece of art, and it's been a real labor of love, here's where you finish it and move forward. So with that Ten of Wands, I mentioned the the burdensome energy, it's all been worth it. It's This is not energy wasted. And if you do find around the holidays that you feel a bit more like you have a lot to manage, you have a lot of people asking you, let's do this or let's do that. And there, it just starts to become kind of taxing. I do feel like you're going to find a way to put the, some of the wands down. Now, if you are taking a break, this also may be an indication if you're taking a vacation that you're going to have one big push before you leave and then you're going to be on your own time where you're not going to have to carry this around on your vacation. I just don't like that. I just think that it's better for you if you can put those wands down and not bring them with you onto a carnival cruise line or somewhere. I mean, it's just too hard to go down those water slides with all those wands. But anyway, with the um, Page of Pentacles here, you have a messenger coming in. This is great news about money. So if you are doing something in terms of your career or you're selling a house or a car or something like that, you are going to make more money and profit than you realized. This is also, though, the lifelong student. So in terms of jobs, if you do have a new job opportunity showing up, I feel like you got a good thing going right now, but if that's the case, it may be a new person or new training. This is, like I said, the lifelong student. So if it's training coming in, it's going to be valuable to you personally as well. And so with this page of pentacles, it's optimism. And you see how he adores that pentacle? The next phase of your life is going to be like that, where you look at your life and you say, how can it get better? This can't get any better. It is exactly what I hoped for, and it's happening, and it's happening to you. So with the energy of the sun, it is one of the happiest cards in the deck. 
It is peace, joy, success. It's feeling that warm glow and it is an absolute illumination. It's when you say it was all worth it. Every heartache, every tear I cried is total success in heaven on earth. Whatever you wanted to create, you've done it with this when you see the sun. And so you'll have a very much a reason to be proud. So if you are waiting for an announcement, the energy of this is a yes. It's gains. And you also too have sunflowers here. Sunflowers indicate synergy and you're finding a match. This is very high vibrational, all these waves around and even the wave of the banner of victory. You see how that little androgynous child is in charge of that big banner and that horse. You're going to feel very empowered. So for some, it may be a promotion or it may even be, um, if it is a job, it's just, it's going to be an upgrade no matter what. If you are, like I said, if you are going to go on vacation, you may get upgrades there too. So with the Empress energy, I mentioned this is taking action. And so she's also a wonderful hostess. So any events are going to go great. They're going to be top notch. She sits in luxury. Look at all those pillows. Look at all that lumbar support. Okay, you don't go it alone here. And with the Empress energy, like I said, you're going to be feeling the love everywhere you go. You're going to feel like people are just kinder, gentler. They're more willing to help. They're easier to be around. And so she's also the card of fertility, though. And you have children, many children in this reading. So if you're asking about a baby, or if you already know I'm having one, it's going to be fantastic. Babies are so great anyway. I wish I had one in my life, not one of my own, but, you know, one I could borrow or something. So with the high priestess energy here, I mentioned before, you're entering a new cycle and it's going to be in flow. This is an energy of protection, of knowledge, of psychic power. And it is, like we said before, a time where your life is going to be illuminated. You have one of the best readings I think I've seen in a while. Let's see what the angels want to tell you. All right, what else does Pisces need to know, please? Advice, please, for Pisces. Improving health, mind, body, spirit on the upswing. You've got peaceful resolution. You do not have conflict in this reading. So only the Ten of Wands is a little burdensome. So if that's for you, I'm going to tell you it's going to be smooth sailing ahead. You have trust. And we've got in the near future, things moving forward for you. Choose a new direction. So be open for a little course correction, but good things are on the way, Pisces. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.